We're back now with a crime that shocked the community of Alexandria, Virginia. A local high school student stabbed and killed another teenager at a busy shopping center. Today, the killer learned his sentence. In a story you'll see only on News 4, Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports it only brought the victim's family more pain and sadness. A very disappointed father leaving court after learning his son's killer would stay locked up for five years, serving his sentence in a juvenile detention facility. No era lo que yo esperaba, porque... It was not what I expected because that's practically nothing for the damage he did to me, said Osman Mejia Romero. The murder of his son, Luis Mejia Hernandez, captured on cell phone video in May of 2022, a brawl among students from Alexandria City High School breaking out at the Bradley Shopping Center. 16-year-old Ryan Vega came to watch armed with a knife and plunged it into Luis, killing him. The two had never even met. It was a fist fight in which Mr. Vega, for some reason known only to him, decided to pull out a knife and uh, really escalate the situation. In court today, prosecutors asking that Vega serve 20 years behind bars, saying to the judge, what is the measure of justice that's due to a parent who has to bury their own child? Luis's father testifying about the impact on his family. I just want to tell you, the loss of a son is the most painful thing that any human being could possibly go through. But Vegas defense attorneys reporting to the judge their client has been thriving in juvenile detention, earning straight A's, emerging as a leader among the teens there. When Ryan Vega got his chance to speak, he read from a long letter speaking to the judge and then asking to directly address the victim's family. Vega telling them, I am deeply and terribly sorry for the pain and loss I've caused your family. Please know I will always pray for your family and Luis until my final breath. The judge, after harshly chastising Vega for what he did, delivering the sentence the teen's attorneys were seeking. Vega will remain in a juvenile correction facility until he's 21. Once released and on probation, there will also be 10 years of suspended time that could be imposed if he commits any more crimes. The prosecutor acknowledging the challenge of sentencing juveniles. While our office had its position and um, obviously believed that more serious punishment was appropriate, um, I will concede that the judge is put into a difficult position with this young of a defendant. A young defendant getting a second chance, while another teen's family says they'll have to live with the pain that just won't go away. In Alexandria, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.